paano nga ba paggamit ng Edmodo sa inyong online class? Unang-una kung wala pa tayong Edmodo, kailangan natin mag-download sa inyong Play Store. Dito sa akin is using my hotspots. Type ko lang dito yung Edmodo and then search. Dahil meron akong Edmodo, open ko na lang siya. Okay. So, ito yung bubungad sa atin. Create free account. So, dito tayo sa create free account. And then, who are you? Teacher or student? Of course, dito tayo sa student. Kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayo ditong class or school code. Yan ay makukuha natin yung code na yan sa ating mga teachers para ma-access natin yung subject nila. And then, meron tayo ditong username, password, uh, confirm password, and then yung email is optional for students. Ito na yung halimbawa na aking na-fill up. Kagaya ng sinabi ko nga yung class or school code ay makukuha natin yan sa ating teacher at dito natin siya ilalagay. Pagkatapos natin mag-fill up, click lang natin yung create account. So dito ay nag-invalid ako dito kasi dapat yung ating username ay kailangang unique. So I suggest na magamit kayo ng combinations of letters and numbers. Take note, don't ever forget your username and password because without it, you cannot access your account. Okay, next page natin is paglalagay natin na ating pangalan, first name, last name, tsaka date of birth. Make sure pangalan talaga yung dapat ilagay nyo dito. Hindi yung mga pen name, katulad na lamang ikaw lang ay sapat na, akin ka na lang. Dapat talaga ay pangalan ni ninyo. Tama ba? Pagkatapos niyan is yung paglagay natin ng photo doon sa ating profile. Make sure na dapat ay nakaharap naman yung ating picture at saka kung pwede ay dapat latest talaga para mas madali tayong ma-identify ni teacher. And then click lang natin yung done. Next part is notify your parent. This section is optional. Pwede nating X yan doon sa taas or else pwede din tayong mag-provide ng email na ating parent or number to notify them that you are using the Edmodo. And then, as said, this will be your Edmodo homepage and you will notice here the latest activity. This is only for your one class. And beside that is my classes and you will see here your all subject. Okay, so you have only one subject. And then, at the bottom, that is the toolbar. We have here the planner. And it is organizational tool that helps students stay on track with their work. Just click on the plus button to add additional tasks. In this section, every assignment, quizzes, or event created by students and teachers on Edmodo will automatically appear on their planner. Next is the Discover and it is a new space on Edmodo where teachers and students can find free high quality educational resources such as activities, games, and applications that shared by the Edmodo teachers community and Edmodo trusted educational partners. Next is messages and you can send directly messages to your teachers and that is visible only to them. Just select the recipients and then type your message and send it. Next is the notification tab. To be notified of activity in your classes and customize about which action you are to be notified, just visit its settings. Here you can control the notification you receive from Edmodo or even turn them off entirely. Paano naman kung marami akong subject or classes? Then at that point, we are going to add that subject or classes in my classes. And then click natin yung plus button in your color tapos ilagay natin yung code na galing sa ating teacher. If the code is unlocked, you will be added directly to the class or group. And if it is locked, then you will be added to an approval queue and must wait to the teachers to approve your join. Ayan, dahil tama yung aking class code, nakapasok na ako sa pangalawa kong subject. To check that you are a member of that class, just click member and you will see all the members of that class. This time, I'm now a member of two groups or classes.
latest activity is comparable to Facebook news feed wherein lahat ng post ng sinalihan mong group or classes ay dito siya maidi-display. While in my classes, posts such as events, activity, assignment, and quizzes are categorized per subject. For example, in these subjects, everything you will see here is only for that particular subject. You may also react by clicking the like at the same time to notify your teachers that you are engaged on that post. You can also add a comment for queries and clarification regarding on that post. You can also download the PDF attached by your teachers in just a few seconds. Just click on it and okay, the download completed. Ito na yung na-download kong PDF wherein nakasave na ito sa aking mobile phone doon sa file manager then documents using WPS application. You can also watch videos or follow the link to direct you from the main source. And that's it. Para ma-double check yung aking na-download na PDF in file manager din documents bubuksan ko ito yung kanina na akin din download to check gamit yung WPS at ito na nga yun yung aking na download na PDF one also of the most important thing is your username and the password and don't forget that thing because without it you cannot access your Edmodo account also kindly take up this time to like this video, subscribe my channel and please don't forget to hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank you.